can take place at his home in New Brighton. So that cow can pay me more money. As writers, we take situations in, we chew them, we swallow them, and we wait so that they are totally digested in the thought process. Then they come up as a story. When you write, you do not address the present, nor are you intentionally addressing the present. It is within the story that the present is reflected. When you write a, 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 a play, a story about a man who's finally come back to South Africa. And when he gets to South Africa, he's amazed at the change. Now, change is good, change is bad. He is disappointed at what he sees. He believes this is not what we spent all these years in exile. He believes this is not what we died for. He believes we've moved away from the Freedom Charter. But he's not talking about the entire population. He's talking about his own comrades, his own friends. What interests me are the unsaid conversations, the ones that are bottled up within the family. I belong to a family that opens up, a family that talks. So when I work with actors in this country, they already know, oh my God, we're going to go through a little bit of a lecture of the South African political situation, a ruthless analysis of the present. But that's not the play. It's just the canvas behind, in front of which the play will happen. I think that the theatre brings about questioning. special, special John Gunny season, which is the first time in my life I'm at the Artscape. First time ever since my first career in 1965. Now, when you perform in international countries, there's a curiosity about South Africa. There's this, a displacement of responsibility and guilt. Now, this is not us, it's them. This play is about people in South Africa. So we found an incredible thing in Colombia that there is, a, there is a very heavy racial segregation of the lighter Colombian, male Caucasian, Spanish, then there is the Indian indigenous, and there's the African. These are not treated equally in the face of the law and also in just society. So they immediately identified. In fact, there were more tears in that audience than there has ever been in this country. So when you come back then, you come to South Africa, there's a sense of home. The South African audiences is one second ahead of you. They laugh before you complete the line. They mm, the pain before, because they can identify immediately. And what's, for instance, for me, sometimes I have black and white audiences. White audiences would keep very quiet when issues cut the vein. And at the same time, black people would laugh because they, for them it's a release. It's not a laughter because something is funny. It's a release of emotion. And it comes out as, <laughs> no, they're crying inside because theater has to reflect the society.